This is the Earl Mud Commit video comment for Earl Mud Commit 885 DD 677 885 Delta Delta 677. Uh, Git show on this. Uh, this is unique enough that I it can find the commit. And so let's see what we've got. This was done on September 26th, 10:30 p.m. Uh, colorize and clean up logging. So add the time, put the time in green, and the properties of the object that's logging in blue. Um, display block instead of display initial because that wasn't working very well. Uh, the time was all goofy and then remove the logger pid. So let's go through this a little bit. So I changed log.css to add a log time class which uh, doesn't, it by default it doesn't display and then I color it green and a log properties class which by default doesn't display and is colored blue. So let's have a look at that. That is it's really small so I can fit a lot of logging on um, and it's even smaller on I think it's a little smaller uh, it looks small to me because of the display on my MacBook Pro well it's not my MacBook Pro but on the MacBook Pro with the whatever resolution it looks a little better maybe it looks smaller I don't know anyways uh, if you show the time it shows up in green and if you show the properties they show up in blue and then what was I talking about I think that's it. And then log.js, uh, I was um, outputting when I was toggling visibility. We don't need to do that anymore. Um, here, I was doing an alert. Let's see, when you toggle visibility, it was doing an alert. I don't need to do that anymore. And here, I was setting the display um, of uh, when I toggled it so you did see it, it was setting it to initial, and that was screwing up so that the, um, uh, let's see here, this time was sometimes showing up at the end of the line or the beginning of the line. It was goofy, so I just switched to block and I'm not I, I'm not super picky with my CSS as long as it works I don't really care and I took out what's this Earl Mud event log um, I took out uh, logging that the process was alive and then I also took out let's see this is uh, this is before when I was storing log in ETS and then I was tracing all the calls uh, in, when I ran it um, I was just having it output all of its. I can't even remember what this gen server start link. I don't even remember what this debug trace outputs, but it was outputting some stuff. I, was, I had some real trouble with this logging, and I was I needed all the help I can get. And then what else do we do? Handle cast. We've changed that, so I don't need to get capture the args anymore. So I just have the arguments. And then I was doing um, I was outputting. This was already commented out, so I wasn't doing that. I was grabbing the the pid of the process itself. And then when I output uh, the logging stuff, I was adding self to the beginning so you could see what the pit of the logger was because I thought my logger was dying. And this was already commented out. So now I just take IO data is uh, just the just the terms that came in and I call maybe name to see if they're a pit. I'll look them up in the index and then I convert that to IO. So I do that for all the terms that are passed in, took out that, took out that. Let's see here, um, and then I'm logging the message, and I'm also logging the time now. So you can see um, how long things take. It was important with this, you know, concurrent messages flying all around the um, the graph that is the mud uh, to see when things are happening, how long things are taking. Um, I wanted to know if when a character attacked an enemy and the counterattack behavior went off, how long it took for that to happen, and yeah, that counterattack behavior and the logging, the CSS and HTML logging were both a nightmare. Let's see, handle cast. Again, I don't need the args, and I don't need this um, ctpal, and I don't need any of this, and I'm not, debug. I'm not tracing on object anymore, and I'm not outputting this, and I don't need to know what the properties are, and most of this guy got worked out, so I didn't need any of this debugging stuff. So you can see I used a combination of um, built-in tracing and the debug module tracing and um, common test uh, IO format style tracing. I use ctpal because it goes both to the common test logs and to the console. What else do we do? Took out some more pro uh, stuff that was already commented out that I wasn't using anymore. Um, yeah, more ctpals. I'm not writing out I'm not closing off, that was already commented but I wasn't closing off that div anymore and Iolib format, whatever, I don't know what that, oh, I just put that on its own line. I'm a little bit picky with, whenever I have a a, a, a case, um, 
a case possibility. I like to keep the code on its own line. And then what was I doing here? Oh, I was just adding, making sure the div was on its own line here. And that was it. So that is um, the commit comment, commit video comment for Earl Mud commit 885DD677.